In the deep foliage, down by a cool stream, a black lioness awaits for me. In a small bamboo hut, covered by palm leaves from a nearby tree. As I enter her gates, before she speaks, she had dropped to her knees to give praises to Haile Selassie, the Almighty. In a youthful haste, I run to her cheek. As she looks up and smiles to say, Saba, my darling, my baby, my sweetie. I ask myself how privileged can one king be to have a true goddess ascend to thee. I am the lion who will fight for your honor. I will be the king you dream of, a red of fire. She put her fingertips to my lips. Listen, my ancient lover. It is your fierce touch that my gentle temple desires. Once I found you, I have found forever. I heart race increase seven times stronger. I do not need a superhero when you are greater. I do not look to 911 assistance for Ja as our creator, nor a knight on a white horse, cause I have my own Zulu warrior. I reply, in my galaxy, you are my shooting star. You are a peace in a world full of war. When I deal with magic, so this natural moment make one natural night. It was this moment I would change my life. I hurt for so long, but your precious kiss made everything right. We grabbed two knapsacks with no fruits and idle heights for the nourishment for the morning hike. We walk side by side in the scenery of greenery, reasoning about alpha and omega energy, and questioning each other about current situations, denouncing the illusions forced upon the black population. By the Bakra lashing on him cotton plantation, I can hear her now humming her favorite track, and when she opened her mouth, all I heard was, I can't keep my eyes off the lioness. How much I do, do love you. Drawn to her like hummingbirds to hibiscus. I can see myself coming, laying my head between her breasts as the early morning sun full drawing where I've chosen to rest. We approach a rushing spring, not too far from our place of living, and ask I and I if we should go for a swim. First I remove my tam, as she remove her blouse and the rest of her garments. Only I, the sky, and nature was in the presence of the Empress' nakedness. I remove mines and joined her in a bath of togetherness. I began by washing her crown of naps and I precept. Then she faced her chest to chest. Asaba, Asaba. Where you get your naturalness? Well, Ayan, it is a gift, for the earth is the loss and the fullness. I wonder if a person can be true to one's vows of love, for it comes from deep within, from being so shallow. I wonder if she would ever deny me or let me go. Then I smile, cause it really doesn't matter. Cause my love is great enough for the both of us, and I will love you for life. And since life cannot die, that means forever. The night began to consume the once bright sky, as specks of light from the mating calls of fireflies surrounded you and the eye. Sometimes all we need is a hand to hold, an ear to listen, and a heart to overstand. I search no more. No more. No more.